You know, I said last night that Alina Haba is now the front runner for worst Trump lawyer to appear in court. This is just, uh, and for lawyers, what I'm about to read is absolutely stunning. Uh, this is a, a moment that she has with the judge where she is reading a document in court. The judge says, what exhibit is this, Ms. Haba? Ms. Haba, I'm trying to get it in, Your Honor. I have to ask about it. The judge, guess what? You may not read from a document that's not in evidence. Ms. Haba, sure, let me get it in. The judge, no, we're going to take a break now, during which you should refresh your memory about how it is you get a document into evidence. And uh, Faith Gay, Donald Trump is paying, or who knows if he's paying. Uh, this is who Donald Trump has chosen to represent him in court. Look, she is having a hard time. Judge Kaplan is a pro. I will say that the judge kept everybody on their toes today. He certainly was all over Ms. Haba, but he was impatient with E. Jean Carroll if she got off track. He certainly sustained a lot of objections with Robbie Kaplan. Um, I think you know, as far as we can see, he is giving a very fair trial. But the real question is, you know, Donald Trump is not necessarily playing just to these jurors. He wants to broadcast a theme that the judge is prejudiced against him. He would love it if the judge throws him out of the courtroom. He wants everyone to realize who's out there watching that he's having to be on trial a second time with E. Jean Carroll for what he will say are the same, same types of things, and that he's been gagged. He's forced to try to murmur in the back of the room to get attention. That will be his narrative of complete unfairness and victimization. And it may well be successful, successful on the outside, but I agree with Andrew. I can't imagine these jurors are taking kindly to these antics.